everyone, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be showing you my skin, or my foundation routine. Sorry, I was going to say skincare routine. I just wanted to talk a little bit first about the kind of skin that I have and why I use the products that I do. Um, I have really oily combination skin. In the summertime, my skin is extremely oily, and I actually have to use a mattifying moisturizer in the summertime just to kind of keep the oil at bay and I have mentioned this before I love to use the Garnier Naturals Skin Naturals Pure Mattifying Moisturizer um, and that stuff is really really great in the in the summertime in the winter time though my skin kind of gets drier and that's kind of why it's very very combination so while I use the matte velvet plus in the summertime and combination with this moisturizer it really helps to keep the oil at bay but in the winter time my skin gets really dry but it's still oily at the same time so I do very much have combination skin still um, only I can use different foundations that aren't necessarily targeted towards um, really oily skin so I don't want to make this video too long, so the product uh, foundation I'm going to be using is this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation, and it is in the shade 40. And as you can see, right now my skin actually is behaving itself for probably the first time in a really long time. It actually looks not that bad, because this is me with no makeup on. Um, but in reality, like, I don't know what it is right now. So normally I have really bad skin, like really bad acne and all that kind of stuff. So, And this is a really good coverage foundation. So what I like to do is just take it and dot it on my face. Sorry, I'm going to move my mirror. And I don't really use, because my skin's not that horrible right now, um, and I'm not too sure what it is. Maybe it's the lack of oil that's on my skin lately because of the, the winter weather. I am just going to take a bobby pin and stick this up, my hair up a little bit gonna look funny but that's okay and then I just take a regular foundation brush and I just kind of like stipple it in I've already done my eye makeup as you guys can see I didn't want to be completely naked I haven't done my eyebrows yet because I wanted to kind of show you what I use for my eyebrows just make sure you blend it in, whatever foundation you use, that you blend it in. And this gives a really nice coverage. And I've heard that this is very comparable to NARS Sheer Glow. Um, I've never used NARS Sheer Glow, so I have no idea, but I do like this foundation. Alright, and so it's kind of like a full coverage, medium to full coverage foundation, I would say. Um, normally, if I have any like additional blemishes, blem blemishes, blemishes, I'll just take a little bit more of like from the side of the bottle like that and just kind of put it in areas of redness. I don't really worry about redness too much in this area of my face um, because the way that I apply my concealer, which I will show you, kind of takes care of that redness for me. So I really only worry about like extra places where I may need more coverage. So the concealer that I use is the Garnier Naturals Anti-Dark Circle <sighs> Roller, and this is the tinted one. I got this before they came out with two shades, so I can't say what shade this is um, because I've only ever had this one. So what I do is I kind of just put it on and I drag it down a little bit like that. And then the, this stuff I find works best if you let it sit on your skin for a little bit and kind of let the caffeine and medications in it kind of sink in. So I'm going to do my brows while I wait and I'm using the Benefit Browsing in the shade Medium. And I don't know if I do this backwards. Actually, I'm pretty positive I do it backwards. But I like to fill them in with the powder first. 
I know that's kind of backwards, but... Um, or actually, I don't know if it's backwards, because some people just use um, powder, so I don't know. And then I take the jelly waxy side, and I kind of just run it through real quick. Just so everything kind of sets in place. Like that. And for me, doing my eyebrows actually makes a really big difference. And then you can kind of see, I don't know if you guys can see, but the concealer has kind of... Um, sunk in a little bit if you want it's like not so watery so then what you want to do is you just kind of want to blend it in like that triangle that I was talking about which is kind of why I kind of did like a little bit like lower like that of course I have mascara on my bottom lashes I did not think this through And I kind of take it into the crevices of my nose. Alright. So once you've done that, it's kind of the basis for it for like my foundation that's really all I do in the winter time just because I will kind of still get oily throughout the day I do take a setting powder and I take the uh, mineralized skin finish natural by MAC this is in the shade medium plus and to be quite honest it's kind of too dark I just take it and I kind of set underneath in here just where we put that um, it's kind of too dark for me but not really but I just prefer the shade medium and then, once you've set that, I'm going to go ahead and do my cheeks. I am obsessed with Benetint, so before I kind of powder my whole, like, face or whatever, I'm going to put this on, and this is like a little baby Benetint. And I do this in layers, because if you don't, you could end up looking like you'd have too much to work with, and it would just be really hard. You may not be able to tell on camera, but... I love this stuff. I'm filming on my sister's camera today, so if the sound quality isn't the best, I apologize. Alright, so once you've done kind of applying whatever blush, or once I'm done applying whatever blush I was using, I take the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural again and a stippling brush, and I just kind of go over and pat. And then I just take a little bit more and I go just kind of up here like this, just stippling and blending just a little bit. And then, if I feel like I've lost any color or anything, I'll just do a tiny, tiny bit more. Shannon would tell me that I'm going crazy, but I quite like this look. Alrighty. So, that is my completed, um foundation routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you would like to see, um, I'm kind of still getting used to um, filming and recording and filming and recording are the same thing, but um, recording and editing and all that kind of stuff. So um, hopefully I can get more up for you guys that's kind of like this. And I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.